going to try rehydrating some tri-tip steaks in the marinating container that came with the food saver. So, going to see how that does. So I've got a few pieces. Gonna pour out the little steaks. All right. So I've got some little steaks. So I'm going to take two that are similar size and put one in this container. One in another container. Let's see if I can fit a couple of them in there. So my plan is to fill that with some beef broth to rehydrate it. I'm going to have enough that it's tall enough to cover it. Do the same thing with the other one. Okay, and then I'm going to use another little container to push them down, and I'll fill this with water to hold them under. And I'll do the same for the other one. And this one I'm just going to put in the refrigerator the way it is. Okay, and I'll just add enough water, hopefully, that will just keep them sunk down. Oh yeah, that looks like that'll work. All right. Now, on this one, I'll just put a plastic wrap or something over it and put it in the refrigerator. This one, I'm going to use the marinate cycle. So let's see, I need to put it on here and push this in there. And Okay, hopefully you could see that. It's pulling the air out of the steak, and then I'll leave that set for a while, then very slowly reintroduce the air, and that should push the liquid into the spaces that the air was taking up inside the meat. Okay, I'm going to close the canister piece. Okay, so then that'll hold it under vacuum until we release the pressure. Boy, you can see the air just boiling out of that uh, steak. I think this is going to work great. So the samples have been in the refrigerator for a couple hours. I'm going to test them. These were just the leftover ones that didn't fit in these. These are just in water and in the Ziploc, and they actually feel really good. And then this is the one in beef broth, no vacuum. I'm going to test that. And then the vacuum one. So first, I actually want to release the pressure fairly slow so it's time for the meat to soak up the liquid. So let's check that out. Oh, well. So, vacuum on the left. Just soaking in the middle one. Soaking in beef broth. And then the just plain water in the Ziploc. On the right. All right. Wow. 
These just are so soft. This is very firm. And this is like a really nice firmness, like a steak, but pretty tender. So that'll be interesting. Salt and pepper, please. So I should probably do both sides. Okay, I'll do the pepper. And I'll flip them over. Right, heat up the grill and slap those babies on, keep them in this order. So right now, the ones that had been in the vacuum marinade feels like a nice, good, firm steak. The ones that had been just soaking in the beef broth just feel too hard still. Feel like there's a hard layer inside. The ones that had been in the Ziploc with water actually feel like maybe a little too soft. So that will be very interesting to see how those come out. So vacuum with the beef broth. Beef broth just sitting at air, uh, regular atmospheric pressure. And then just water. Interestingly enough, the water ones do not look as done. Yeah. They look kind of boring. But now we have to taste test them. Dang it. Beef, it's what's for taste test. Okay, not just test, but we're looking at texture. I don't know if that knife's any good for that. Wow, that's terrible. And yet this doesn't seem that, that's good. Um, yeah, serrated one. Yeah, well, <coughs> I never did sharpen this one. So I don't know if it's that dull or if that's that tough. Well, it felt easier, that's what it looked like. I don't know. It tasted good. It tasted real good. Mm. Mm. The texture was okay. It was fine. Oh, that's much better. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm -hmm. Texture fine. Flavor's great. Okay, move on to this guy. Definitely a little harder. Wow, and it just looks dry on the inside. Flavor's good. Texture's not bad, but it is drier. Yeah, it does look dry. Oh, yeah, that is definitely dry by comparison to the others. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, look at the difference in those. Wow, that's a big difference. Hmm. Flavor's still good, right? But it's definitely drier. Yep, drier, but still has pretty much the same flavor. Okay. Now this one is just water, just in a Ziploc. Now that looks pretty good. Hmm. Flavor's good, texture's good. So far, I think that one's better. Mm -hmm. So rehydrate in the vacuum. question is, how fast could you do the vacuum one? Mm -hmm. You need to try some not letting it set as long and see what happens. So this one is definitely dry. I mean, you can you can see that. Mm -hmm. And that one. This piece is Hi. better than the other piece, I think, of the uh, vacuumed one. Do you want to try some beef that was rehydrated? Sure. We've got three different samples. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Okay. This one's the best. So there's sample one, two, and three. They, are they were all in the same bag. Salt and pepper. They only, um, yeah, just added salt and pepper before I grilled them. And it's beef? Mm hmm. Seriously? <laughs> it looks like the pork steaks. Okay. That's the only reason I had to cl clarify. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's not tofu, that's for sure. Is the word you're looking for dry? Did the first one remind you of steak? <laughs> Wow. Yeah. The other one's, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, this one's drier. I don't like that texture. What? I don't like that texture. This one? Mm-hmm. What, what is it? It felt spongy when I bit into it. Ah, okay. The one that's more gone is better. More gone. Oh, yeah. it's less of it left mm -hmm. here. This was rehydrated in with the vacuum um, with the food sealer and the vacuum marinator huh. this one was so these were in beef broth okay this one was vacuum this one was just sitting at room pressure this one was water in a ziploc wow and it got soggy mm-hmm oh better mm-hmm this one's still a good flavor it's just very right. dry it's very dry so maybe eventually it would have been okay, but don't know when.